What up, YouTube? Young Lincoln here. I'll make a real quick video, just real quick. I really want to go in detail the whole call Easter and church deception. Now, Easter. When I was growing up, I wish I knew this now, but when I was growing up, we used to always have, uh, my parents used to get ready for my Easter basket. We used to have, like, cookies and, you know, candy and Easter eggs. And we used to go to church, like, every Sunday. And used to have my little Easter suit on and listen to the pastor. Now, shouts out to everybody that, you know, I used to grow up with. And my pastor, I still love to this day as my spiritual teacher. But as I came to some type of knowledge and worth, you know, it's, it's really an abomination to celebrate easter now i'm not trying to sound like a pharisee or anything but when i did some further research as i got older when i was 19 years old i started to find out that easter represents the uh, great goddess ishtar which she was the goddess of death and also too they used to have a bunny they used to sacrifice different animals you know to pronounce like witch to engage in witchcraft and sorcery now if you read the book of deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10 to 12 it says that the spirits the sorcerers the murderers sexual immoral they will all burn to hell or they will not you know reach uh heaven and so all those are things are detestable to our lord our god and i started to realize that you know like, wow like so many of us Christians or so-called Christians or people who don't even believe in God, we celebrate some type of pagan tradition to make us feel, a t you know, better. So, you know, a lot of people coming out here just spending a lot of money on Easter suits just to make them feel a little bit better, but not really recognizing the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I love to say Resurrection Sunday. Now, the whole thing, this whole world that we live in, this three-dimensional phase that we live in, is so many of us that's just flesh and, and just into our evil desires, man. You know, in the book of Second Timothy, it says that, you know, flee the evil desires of your youth, but pursue in faith, love, and peace to the Lord our God. You know, not too many of us are doing that. It's more than just when you get baptized in the name of God that... Oh, you're a shield from all demonic activity. No, we have to know that too. That's just the beginning. But it's very important to surround yourself and also too to get the knowledge. You know, read the history. Come home one day and read the Bible for yourself and apply the knowledge. You know, we can't. You, it's kind of impossible. What I learned in my life, in my journey, that you want to learn so much and be spiritually fed by just listening to the pastor on Sunday. You know, not going home and read the Bible for yourself and applying the principles. Okay, there's 66 books in there. You know, technically it's more going to the Catholic religion, but God gave us the 66 basic foundations of life, man countless examples of stories and things to follow you know what i'm saying so i just feel like this whole easter thing you know i mean it's 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 let's just it's really supposed to focus on the resurrection of jesus christ when he was confronted by Pilate and everything his whole ministry with the 12 disciples and that whole purpose was to value people to was to baptize them in the name of the father son and the holy spirit casting out demons and healing the sick okay resisting temptation from the devil and destroying their flesh the devil was only here for lost time in the book of revelation 12 when the mother gave birth you know jesus was the seed of that woman so soon as satan or lucifer was cast down from heaven his whole purpose was to deceive a fallen nation to deceive humanity because he knew humanity had access to destroy him and his demonic spirits through the belief in jesus christ that's the focus on we should focus on the so-called easter or this resurrection sunday we're supposed to focus on this every single day of our lives you know so and, you know, I'm going to say on Facebook, I'm not judging you, I know about Facebook, Instagram, people on social media in general are going to say, you know, uh, focus on their attention on the Easter Bunny. But at the same time, you know, who is the real attention? We should focus our real attention on personal Lord and Savior. That's very important. You know, so I feel like as a, as a nation, especially in America, we, we got away from that. And that's not cool. You know, and, and we wonder why things are the way it is. Okay. You know, we came from the lost 12 tribes. You know, we cannot be deceived by this Jewish media and the so-called synagogues of Satan, okay? You know, if you trust in him, he will have him fall down on your feet, and he will acknowledge that he loves you. Revelation chapter 3, I think verse 8, I believe. So you can read that. But, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, what type of suit you wear, or how much money you give to the church. All that matters is about your heart and your actions, okay? You know, these people profess me with my mouth, but their hearts are away from me. 
You know, that's what the Lord Jesus Christ said. But I felt like, you know, I just had to say this video, you know, make this video, you know, just kind of give some type of little clarity. Okay. So, all of this is um, very important. You know, I just want people to really understand this, that, you know, our personal Lord and Savior is really, is really a, uh, once they're all attention, man. You know what I mean? This is, you see what's going on in the world. It's not getting any better, but all we can do is feed ourselves spiritually and continue to love each other, continue to encourage each other, associate those, associate with other people in low position, you know, and the whole purpose is to advance the gospel. And the church is supposed to be a collection. It, actually, the church is, is within, it's the people. But as modern society, we made it to a building where we can come together, uh, reunite ourselves, cleanse our spirit, and to continue to advance the gospel. That's what we meet once a week. It's not there just to show off your suit or to show off how much money you get or show off what type of lifestyle you live. Because God doesn't care about that. But that's all I got to say, man. You know, it's not be deceived. You know, there's a lot of preachers out here that's kind of false prophets, man. You know, and they come to you in sheep clothing, but yet they're ferocious wolves. You know, we got to continue to do the knowledge ourselves, you know. But like I said, I'm just a messenger. This is my thoughts about it. And... Don't be too sad if you can't go to church for Easter or Resurrection Sunday. God looks at your heart. But that's all I have to say, man. It's your boy, Young Link. Brothers and sisters, you guys continue to enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Love y'all. Deuces.